Hi, today I want to show you my mini PC again. I just want to show you what I have set up for the PC. When I want to set up my computer, I prefer to set, sit at my monitor. But the only problem is uh, my monitor is quite old and hasn't got a HDMI input. But I found the cable. I used it a long time ago when I was using the uh, Acer computer connected to my uh, TV. And this computer is old and hasn't got a HDMI output. And when I bought a new TV, I couldn't connect the Acer to my TV. So I bought the cable, which has a, one end is the DVI and the other end is HDMI. So I connected this one to the Acer and this one to the TV. Now I'm going to use the uh, reverse direction. I am going to connect this one to my mini PC and this the DVI connection to my monitor. And the only problem is with this cable, the DVI cable, it hasn't got an audio line. So uh, I'm going to try to use the uh, Bluetooth speaker. As you have seen from my previous video, I was using this keyboard. Uh, because the mini PC is a portable PC, and uh, it doesn't make sense to bring, take a, such a big keyboard with you. This time I want to try to use my phone to uh, control the PC. Let's start it. For some reason, the PC sometimes start in test mode and there's a text written on the screen and this is very annoying. Let me try to restart it. Now it's gone. I don't know what does that mean. And you can see there is something flashing up. That is what I have set up. I will show you the details. I'm still using the keyboard here. So this is the file when you saw the uh, DOS prompt popped up, these are the command and I, I will uh, put in the description. Basically this is setting up a, a hosted network adapter which means uh, the PC has its own router. I don't want to go to the details. I put this in the uh, task scheduler and it will start automatically every time I boot the machine. Uh, I just want to give you an idea. So the technical details, how to do it, you can find it on Google anywhere. What I want to show you is what the two lines of script have done. So I'm going to the uh, network adapter. You can see this is the adapter is not connecting to any, it's, I turn off my home network so it's not connecting to my home network. This one is the virtual router. It was created so I hope you can see this. I put it as a, the name as MigoNet. One thing I must show you is uh, sometimes the script to create the virtual router doesn't work. I can show you here. I put in the command and run the script. There are two, only two lines and this is the uh, creating the router and then start the router and it's saying network couldn't be started and you will see something a uh, group or resource is not in the correct state and I have googled a lot and there were some suggestion with power, uh, switch on and off and I tried everything, nothing helped until I found there was a, a post talking about the uh, device manager and I can show you how to get this work and go to the menu, 
go to device manager you will see in the device manager there is a network adapter here and uh, somewhere here you can see there is a Microsoft hosted network virtual adapter right click on it and say enable and it will disappear so it's gone now I'm going to start the script again doing the same thing you can see the, the hosted network started it works and now you can see it here you should be able to see the adapter here the MigoNet virtual router Okay, I had a little bit trouble to connect to the server and now I just rebooted my machine. Uh, virtual router is started and the uh, GPAS server is also started and my phone is connected to the uh, Migo net and I can start my app on my phone now. So I select the touchpad here. Now if you look at it, I'm not sure whether you can see the mouse pointer moving. Uh, I think this is, is even better than the one I tried before. Uh, is this one is quite responsive. So let's click on. Uh, con you can see the context menu, and it's quite responsive. The only problem is, uh, I'm not sure why I, I had the problem to connect it. it Sometimes it was quite good. So. The point is we have to make sure we can do it from the start. Let's restart the machine and see how it goes, whether it can connect straight away. So I'm going to restart it now using, you can see I'm using the phone to connect it. Here is restart, click. So again, starting virtual router, and you can see a flash over there. There, is, there was the GPAD. Uh, now there was a GPAD uh, server, and let's connect it again. I hope everything is ready now. Start the app. Go to the touch pad, and it seems the connection is good. Now you can see the mouse pointer moving. I hope you can see it. And uh, the good thing is that there is also a keyboard here. If I press F1, see whether there is a help menu for my uh, Windows coming. So you can see F1 is also working. I'm going to play something and see whether the Bluetooth connection is working. So you can hear the music is coming from this speaker here. So it's in Bluetooth, there's a built-in Bluetooth, it's working. So I don't think I want to go to the details of the app and uh, I just give you an idea how uh, it is possible to use the uh, virtual router to connect the phone and use an app to control the mini PC. That's the point. If you go take your uh, mini PC to somewhere you don't have access to the uh, network, so there's no Wi-Fi, then you build your own Wi-Fi network with your phone. So then this app allows you to use the Wi-Fi to control the PC. But I think there are more other apps available, uh, but since my phone is so old, uh, I have a very limited app to, to choose. Uh, have a look whether you can find a better app but this one is quite good. Uh, I didn't need to install uh, Java separately. I think this one's still running something under Java, but I have no idea about the detail. Uh, I tried another one. That one was uh, working, but only working with my home network. I'm going to post the two lines of my mini script in the video description, and you can try it out. 
Uh, if you have any question, just post it in the comments. I, uh, I will try to help you. And thank you for watching. Bye.